Well, here's what we're doing today. This is a rock saw, a Mahindra rock saw that I bought oh, about a week ago. And I've got a turn signal kit that I'm going to put on the unit here. We're going to try to make this somewhat road legal here. So we'll get this opened up and uh, we'll get it torn out the box here. And we're going to hook up the rear tail lights along with, I think it's a Grody uh, turn signal switch that's going to go on the steering column here. So, so we're going to go ahead and start on the uh, tail light turn signal and horn kit. All right, we're going to get this box opened up. This is by Ryko Moto. I don't know if I bought this on eBay or Amazon, I forget which. So we'll just carefully open this box up here. I thought this was taped together here. Oh, I see. I have a goofy box. Oh, got a thick pamphlet here. Yeah, just the various instructions that it's going to take to put this on. I got a couple of wire harnesses here. A couple of, uh, these look like two, two and a half inch lights. They're going to go in there like that. And then, I don't know if this is a Grody. Looks like it. Uh, I don't know what kind that is. That's yeah, a knockoff Grody, I think, but it's got a horn on there. And then uh, flashers and then uh, turn signal. So we'll go ahead and get uh, this thing all opened up, the rock saw that is, and start laying these things out. This must be the, here's the horn here. So, alright, so we're going to read through the directions and get this mounted up. Alright, we're getting right into this here. We've got the turn signal mounted, nice little cute guy, like a, almost like a grody uh, style that you see on the uh, semi trucks and whatever. So we've got that mounted. I've got the little indicator lights, you drill a 9 and 30, nine thirty seconds hole in the dash. These are going to be the turn signal lights here. You can barely see them. They'll be for the indicators here. So to tell you whether or not your flashers are working. They're all tied into the wire harness. Um, this has got a horn on it, but I mounted the horn that came with the kit. Being that it's got it on the end of the turn signal switch here. And the wire harness that goes to the horn is grabbing power and whatever anyways. So, we've got that plugged in. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to drill a couple of holes in the front cowl here for uh, the actual turn signal light itself. Oh yeah, Charlie ran into um, the barn with it. So we got that front fender christened along with the front bumper. So, we, um, we have to drill a two and three quarter inch hole Got a two and three quarter inch hole saw here. And then what we're using is just a, uh, these are common on the side of uh, truck bodies. They're a surface mount light. We usually use two inch. We used to use these two and a halves, but this came with the kit. And then this little guy is gonna mount somewhere in here like that. And then that'll be your right or uh, I'm sorry left uh, turn signal light and there'll be another one over here on the on the right hand side we've got to drill a hole in there we've got to unplug this marker light here that's on the fender and that's going to tie in with the flasher as well and that'll flash with the turn signal so we better get drilling our holes we are in 
a few deep to the red, white, and blue here. And um, man, it's the 4th of July. It's appropriate that we uh, drink the right beer here. So we're going to get after it here. Uh, drilling some holes. Let's we'll get that measured out so that it's proportionally in the right spot. All right, so we've got the spots all marked out where we're going to drill the hole. Usually I just use a plasma cutter. I trace the hole saw and use the plasma cutter. Now these hole saws usually have a quarter inch arbor. Now I have drilled these before with the actual hole saw. Try drilling it with this bit. You know more and get almost all the way through and then bang. The damn hole saw hits and you usually break that center arbor off or it sends the hole saw walking sideways and it just makes a mess. So I have found that it's easier to drill your your hole first with a different drill bit. Then you can ease in with the uh, hole saw. So we've got these holes marked. We're going to go ahead and drill. drilling a hole all the way through this part of the grill here is plastic because this is a 2020 beautiful oh, piece came out anyways I don't know if I can stuff this grommet in there we're just gonna see we might not have to drill a two and a half inch or two and three quarter inch hole no we don't Okay, so we don't have to drill a two and three quarter inch hole through the actual metal itself, but what I have is I've got a, well, I don't know if I can, I can't really get my fingers down through there. So we've drilled a hole all the way through quarter inch, and we're just gonna upsize that hole a little bit so that we can send the wires through in this part of the grill is just plastic. So, got that one drilled, and we're gonna drill. This one here. Now we've got that plastic drilled out, pull our tape off, use the tape for a bit of a reference point. Alright, so we have the holes drilled in this plastic part of the grill and you can maybe feed the wires down in behind the headlight. We're not too awful sure. There's only about an inch of room here. I was concerned that maybe there wasn't enough room depth wise and I thought maybe I'd have to drill a hole through this back part too. but. That's why I ended up drilling a hole all the way through uh, the metal part of that. Um, I don't know if I can sneak my wires down in. I could probably sneak them down in uh, behind that headlight. Actually, we're going to try that first. But if that doesn't work, we do have a hole that goes all the way through and we can sneak the wires through that hole as well. So. Let's go ahead and route some wires here for those turn signal lights and we'll get those plugged in. Alright, so we got that hole opened up a little bit. I just used the Mickey Mouse step drill. And now we're going to be able to get this little plug to fit down in here. I'm just going to shoot this guy right through this hole here. like this and then we can get it to plug in to the light now um, I'm gonna end up I'm gonna wrap some um, tape around this the inside of this hole just so that it doesn't leave it so sharp there so that the wires don't 
chafe up against it. Alright, so running around that whole electrical tape did not work. I think you all knew that was going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a gob of silicone around this hole. And what that will do, it will actually, not only will it seal it up, but it will provide somewhat of a grommet makeshift grommet for that wire so we'll shoot this in there and we'll let that dry we'll have to mend it from time to time here until it gets stiff enough to where it'll stay in place because it's, uh, it's a little larger hole than it needs to be but we'll let that sit in place there once that dries um, we'll be able to plug them lights in. Now, this kit number is a 5202. So this kit number is a 5202 and the directions and the wiring is set up for a 2019. Um, we have to cut this wire here. And get you over here. We have to cut this wire here that plugs into the harness that comes off of the turn signal. It's not long enough to go over to the right hand side. So we're just going to splice it here, put a long enough wire on there so that we can have that right hand light hooked up. We're going to do that while the silicone is drying. Alright, so the silicone is pliable and it's going to stay in place. So we'll get these plugs plugged into the light and now we can just put the plug or the light rather right into the ground just like a so. And there we have it, two orange, two and three quarter inch, actually they're two and a half, but the grommet is two and three quarter turn signals. We've got them plugged in to this uh, marker light right here. So we've unplugged the light from the wire harness. Then we've got a cap to go on there. The wire harness wasn't long enough to swing all the way over to that other side. I've got the wires cut, I've got wires that I've added, and then I'm going to add on to the wire to give it the appropriate length so that we can make it over to uh, this other side and then we'll secure this wire up out of the way and tie it to the radiator mount and whatever like that, make a nice clean uh, attachment there. So I've got the wire added on to. I'm going to shove that through the firewall and then cut it to length here. There is cap plugs. Like I said, it'll plug onto there. That's where the side lamp was plugged into. We've unplugged that and plugged it into the harness. You can see it down there. You can kind of see the white silicone protruding through that hole. That's kind of around them wires. That's going to protect them wires from bouncing in that sharp hole there. Hey, right, we've got all of our wires tied up and everything works. We are going to just walk through this very quickly because I think this video is getting long enough. We've got the key on, got the horn, left directional, got the marker blinking on the left front fender. We've got the light blinking down in below the light. And we have the tail light blinking. Now the unit is in reverse. Kick it up out of reverse there, bub. I've got it in reverse because I mistakenly bumped it back there when I uh, was crawling underneath that dash to get the... Uh... All right, we're out of reverse. Hit the right directional. There is the right directional. Got it on the fender. We've got it up here below the light. 
All right, turn the headlights on. Got the headlights on, and then what that is going to turn on is it's going to turn on our little license plate light here. Now, we're going to roll in underneath this unit. This has actual axles in it. It's not like the Gator axles where it's all independent suspension and all that. All right, you can turn the lights off. Um, it has drum brakes on the rear. It has disc brakes up front, just like a pickup truck. It's got straight axle beam suspension in the front, and obviously a straight axle beam in the rear with actual leaf springs. It's got a transfer case in it with a manual transmission. It is just like a truck, a Jeep, what have you. Compared to the Gator or a Kubota UTV. My brothers have both had a couple of Kubota UTVs and this is hands down blows them out of the water. For what I paid for this unit here, it's got the lift kit in it which it comes with the larger tires and the longer shocks. Now this suspension is set up with axle over leaf. If you want to buy one of these and you want to lift the suspension up a little bit, you could probably achieve the same amount of lift that this one has by running the spring over axle. Uh, it's going to change your brackets and whatever around and stuff like that, but um, there is setups to do that. In order to get this lift on here, it's got re-arch springs and it's got longer shocks, larger tires. Goodyear Wrangler, I don't even know what the heck they are, Dura, Track, something or other. It's an actual truck tire. Uh, like I said, compared to the Gator or the Kubota for a UTV type vehicle around the farm, the bed on this is a little smaller than the bed on the Gator because of the fenders. But let's face it, for what you're putting in the back, it'll obviously fit in the area between the fenders. And it's got a, a tailgate that swings to the side. Now, um, my wife likes the Gator because that's got a tip-up bed on it. But um, the kids like this because, why, bud? Because it's standard. He likes Andrew and my daughters love running this standard around. Now, uh, go ahead and put your seatbelt on. I'm going to explain a couple more things on this. And we're going to show you the clutch pedal extension kit that I put on there. Um, the turn signals are on there. I plan on putting some kind of a cab on here. I, knew, I do need to get mirrors on this to make it road legal. I don't know how, much I'm, how far I'm going to go with that. I would like to put seats in the back for the kids. Um, I'm going to put seats on each fender. You can either get seats on the fender or you can get a bench seat. And I'm going to get the seats that go on the fenders. And I have to lengthen this roll bar assembly. Um, they want $1,100 to replace this bar here along with the, the tube that goes across the back. Um, I think I'm just going to add on. You like that. I think we can do that and put some kind of a cab on here. Um, whether it be a full metal cab and it's just the two person part or a soft top uh, for a four person. I haven't yet decided on that yet. So um, Andrew, he could not reach the clutch pedal. I've talked about this briefly uh, in some future or in some uh, past videos. Um, you have to have the seat belt on in order to get this to go over five miles an hour and he cannot reach that he can only he has to really stretch to get the clutch pedal even get three push three quarters of the way in so I drill the 5 16 hole in here I made this pedal extension you guys have probably seen that in the past videos this gives it about two and a half to three inches of throw on there um, it's just a piece of quarter by two flat stock 
um, coming out this way and then another quarter by two flat stock here um, and it's roughly three inches long. He doesn't need a brake pedal or a gas pedal extension because he can reach those. The brake doesn't have to get pushed that far. However, you want to make sure you get that clutch all the way in. So go ahead, push that clutch in. He can reach that. Bang. It is to the bottom. So um, he is only nine, but um, we're making it work with standards. Yeah. He's getting uh, experience with the standard, and so are my daughters. Um, this is just a neat unit. The kids, they freaking love it. So uh, with that being said, that is going to do it for this video, folks. On the taillight, uh, turn signal, horn. Well, it's not the taillight. The lights were on there. I guess it's just the turn signal kit that was on here. Um, I will put a link in the description on uh, where I bought this from. I can't remember if it was an eBay purchase or if it was an Amazon purchase. And the uh, instructions were meticulous. Um, I, <laughs> I did read the instructions. So um, they're very well um, put together. This is a 2020, however, I think the kit was built for the 2018 and the 2019 I did have to lengthen uh, some wires, but it's no big deal folks. So uh, with that being said that is gonna do it folks We are gonna go for a little ride and maybe get some dinner here, right Bob? Hammer down And we're gonna roll on out of here and go for a ride, right bud? Yeah, buddy Got a little PBR still left there. It's 4th of July Got the red white and blue yeah, buddy.